morning, everybody. It's Mr. Scott, your favorite middle-aged metalhead, back again today with another reaction video. And the video I have right here is a reaction request coming at me from Panda, a.k.a. I've Got You Covered. And she has asked me to check out a song from Voice Play. What a shock. But it's not just Voice Play. It's Voice Play teaming up with Camp Acapella to present their version of the classic 80s pop song from Journey, Don't Stop Believin'. When the hell did this song come out? 81, 82, something like that? Oh, God, this is where I contemplate how old I am, and I don't like that feeling. So we're going to move on. We're just going to get out of that headspace, and I ask you please to stick around to the end of the video so you can see the ending credits to see the list of people that have been supporting me here on YouTube as of late. So let's not waste any more time, my friends. Let's fire this up. Thrill me. There's Jeff. Just a small town girl living in a lonely world. She took the midnight train going anywhere. Oh. What did he do? He took the midnight train going anywhere. Strangers waiting, waiting, waiting. Up and down the road, and on their shadows, searching through the night. Oh, 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 do you, do I, or do you, or anybody who watches and listens to me, do you ever stop smiling? <laughs> can, can you not smile? Can you do like a try not to smile challenge with this music? Just, it can't happen. You can't do it. I can't do it. If you can, you're a liar. But this is amazing. And I guess Camp Acapella is just that. It's a, it's a camp for up and coming musicians that they go with, go there and they train with voice, uh, voice singing coaches and learn how to produce this stuff because when you listen to the original song you understand the structure of it you know guitars bass keyboards drums vocals that's it when you take away all the other extracurricular activities of guitar drums bass and all this stuff and all you have is the voice there's a lot of room there and so there has to be other things the voice has to do to fill that space. And you're hearing that with this version of it. Little additions, little melodies and counter melodies, harmonies, and just all those little bounces and extensions of notes that really bring it to a whole different life. Back into it. What do you smell? Filling all those gaps right there, like I was saying. Hey, did I catch you singing? I think I did. They did not do that. <laughs> <laughs> the 
This just became a medley. <laughs> Did not see that coming or hear it coming. Don't stop believing. Hold on that feeling. Don't stop. Back into it. If you're listening to this at home or wherever and you're clapping or singing or snapping your fingers, don't be embarrassed by it. We're all doing it, okay? Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. That, <laughs> that legit shocked me when they started throwing the O'Sherry and the uh, uh, open arms and everything else that they were doing from, the other, from Journey and uh, Steve Perry and on there. Oh, my God. Taking me back to my childhood. All those songs came out at that time frame, man. But music like this goes on. It, it just lives on and on throughout different generations and, and different ways of expressing it, like with, um, with the master's of this style of music with voice play and hanging out with the up and coming generations of acapella singers. And who knows what, uh, what these young people will be doing with this kind of music in the future. I think they could ever do some cannibal corpse or morbid angel or maybe deicide type acapella. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Bad idea. Bad idea. Forget it. Strike that from the record. Never happened. But what did happen is me absolutely loving this video. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Like this video. Comment on it. Subscribe. Notification bell. Please do all that stuff here. I'd really appreciate that stuff. Stick around because you'll see a list of people in the end credits that have been supporting me here on YouTube. One more time, check in the information about me down in the description. Thanks for stopping by, my friends. Keep those horns high and never stop playing. From St. Rooster Books comes Stranger with Friction, Issue 9, featuring a collection of horror stories and articles, including Seven Souls to Hell, written by your favorite middle-aged metalhead, Mr. Scott. Go to Amazon.com now and get your copy. It's, it's Mr. Scott. Yo, it's Mr. Scott. You know his ass is hot. Yo, it's Mr. Scott. It's, it's Mr. Scott. Yo, it's Mr. Scott. You know his ass is hot. Yo, it's Mr. Scott. It's, it's Mr. Scott. Let him hang.